Hello. Uh, it's great to see that more people are experimenting with Google Forms. Um, and a few people have asked me recently about checkbox questions and automatic marking. Um, questions are a little bit like this, where you have to pick, uh, say, three correct answers from a list of um, a list of six. Now, you'd think that if you set the marks to be out of three, as I've done here on the um, answer key, it would give one for each correct answer. So if you got two right, you, you'd get two marks. Um, Unfortunately, it doesn't work uh, quite like that. Um, it's a little bit more complicated. Otherwise, everyone, of course, would just tick all six options and you'd be bound to get three right and you would get three marks. That's not really what we want from this sort of question. So the short answer is that Google Forms can't do this uh, automatically yet. Um, what it does when it marks automatically, it simply compares answers to the answer key so that if all three match, you get full marks. But if you add anything else, if you enter anything else, you get zero marks, um, which may well not be uh, quite the result that you're, that you're after. Uh, now, there is an add-on called Flubaroo, uh, which will sort of do this, but uh, it's not without its problems. Um, Flubaroo is a Sheets add-on, so you have to go um, into the spreadsheet uh, created by the quiz. Um, and what you do with Flubaroo is you, are, you use one of the answer key uh, answer rows as the key. Um, this has to be a row that you've already answered correctly and you, you know that it's, um, that it's correct. Now for a checkbox question, a uh, checkbox answer as here, um, you add percentage CB at the beginning of the, um, uh, at the beginning of the answer. Um, and that tells Flubaroo to then calculate the partial marks. Um, and what it will do is it, it will subtract uh, marks for wrong answers. Now the issue with this is that you can only really do it when all the quiz attempts are in. Um, you have to kind of actively run Flubaroo so the pupils can't get instant results. Um, you can see what uh, happens here. I, I've, I've already run Flubaroo on this. So you can see on this answer here, um, I've got uh, two, uh, this has two correct answers and one wrong answer. Uh, this one here has uh, two correct answers, um, but, but only two. Now, I've already run Flubaroo, it takes a few minutes to, or a few moments to, to run it, so I won't do it again. But if you look on the grade sheet, you can see that this one, this was the candidate that had uh, got two right but one wrong gets one out of three because it subtracts one for the uh, the stupid guess. Um, this one that gets two right but none wrong gets two marks. Um, so you can see this this kind of does what you want. Um, I can see that it might be worth using this if you had a quiz with lots of checkbox questions or or maybe if you had loads and loads of respondents. But to be honest, um, I think it's a bit of a pain and uh, it's quicker and easier um, just to do it within Google Forms and to uh, set the form to manual review. So you come up here to the settings, choose quizzes, and here, as I've done, you choose uh, that you're going to release the mark later after manual review. Uh, just save that. So what that means is that when you go to the responses, and you can go to the individual responses, this candidate who's got two right and made the one stupid guess, you might decide, as Flubri does, to give them one, but you might be a little bit more generous and choose to give them two. Um, save that, then move on to the next candidate. Uh, um, it doesn't seem to have moved on, does it? There we go. Uh, so this one I might uh, decide to give uh, to give two marks, and I'll save that. And then when I'm ready, I can release the scores. So um, as I say, it's not possible to um, do this automatically yet, but you can easily see the um, see where a candidate's got the questions right or wrong. So it makes it pretty quick to to do the marking. Um, the alternative, if you want automatic marking and instant feedback, of course, is to reframe your questions, perhaps to use um, multiple choice questions, um, and then wait for Google to add the uh, 
uh, checkbox marking feature um, in a slightly more sophisticated way.